Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm G&G and in today's episode of Sleeping Giant we are taking on Rangers away in our last Europa League game needing a point to get through to the playoff stages and uh, through to the knockouts of the Europa League uh, and then we will be playing uh, Toulouse in our fierce local derby at home in the league in search of more points as we try and secure a Champions League spot again. One game played since the last episode we took on Strasbourg a few days after that defeat to Wolves in the previous episode and we had to rotate the team because of tired legs and a couple of injuries and went ahead early through Pablo Moreno they equalised from the penalty spot and the game just fizzled out from there so a 1-1 draw away to Strasbourg wasn't a terrible result because the teams around us did drop points so we are still in fourth position one point ahead of Nice in fifth one point behind Lorient in third and uh, only three points clear of seventh and that is Monaco so yeah European spots up for grab or we could miss out on Europe altogether Everton to play for as we come to the second half of the season now but it is Europa League action we're focused on first of all and this is the team we're going with against Rangers uh, our strongest 11 thankfully everyone fit and ready to go uh, Bishaibu stays in the centre of defence uh, alongside Viatek and Bokele Opoku was the only injury uh, we had he is on the bench not fit enough to start but we have a strong enough back three in those three, I think, to hold on. And uh, hopefully uh, Palacios and Bazdar can grab us the goals to put us through to the knockouts. Rangers are already guaranteed a playoff spot. A win for them, though, would send them straight through to the last 16. So they will be going for a two. And hopefully it will be a classic. On the way here at Ibrox for this crucial Europa League final round of the league phase. Can we get through to the knockouts with a draw here? Yeah, a win would send us through as well of course but a draw would do the job and even a defeat we could sneak through on goal difference if results go away rangers need a win if they're going to go straight through to the last 16 and they have the home crowd behind them six minutes gone it's nil nil Good highlight here is a corner for rangers it comes into the far post it's headed in oh Suter has put rangers one nil up on the 17 minute mark and a problem we've been having this season is set piece defending and uh, we have been caught out here. Hadji with the corner into the far post. Suter beats Bukele in the air. Heads it home. And now we're under real pressure. We need an equaliser. Corner kick for us. Lafie to take it in towards Bichayabu. Yes, he heads it home. Bichayabu gets his second goal for us off the season. His fifth off the season overall. He scored a few for PSG in the first half. Since he came on loan to us, he scored twice now from a corner. Gets us level on the 20 minute mark. Enzo Lafie with the corner. Bichayabu gets up. Powers at home pass, Baxter in goals. And we are level again here at Ibrox. 20 minutes gone, it's 1-1. Half time here at Ibrox, it is 1-1. We responded really well to falling behind. Level within three minutes. Have dominated the game since then, possession-wise. Created a few chances. XG's both at 0 0.25. Quick look at the league table will show Rangers in 12th position going to the playoffs. And we are in 20th position going into the playoffs. A pint is enough for us. Let's hope we can hold on and make it true we as i said we dominate possession so we're going to tell the team uh, if we can get that one goal i make us favorites to make it happen they don't like that but anyway <laughs> uh, second half on the way here at ibrox now can we get the point we need to make it through uh, to those playoff it will be an extra game in the season for us but at least we'd be true to the knockout stages three minutes off this second half gone it's still one one on the corner for us enzo Luffy to take it can he pick out Bishayabu or even VTech as well in a comes. Bishayabu heads it down. Palacios taps it home. Oh, is it going too far? Bishayabu got up with the header. Baxter saved it, but Palacios tapped it home. Is VAR going to give us the goal? We are waiting for the decision here. And the goal is disallowed. Oh, offside against Palacios, I think. Oh, that would have been huge to put us ahead. Bishayabu again gets up. And it wasn't uh, Palacios that was offside. It was another player standing in front of the goalkeeper. And sadly that goal is disallowed. 62 minutes gone. It's still 1-1 here. Brandon Williams down to Palacios. Back to Brandon Williams. Bit of space for him. Viatic brings it forward. Lafie. Can he get turned? No. Torsby. Viatic. Viatic back to Lafie. Ball over the top of Bazdar. Bazdar can he get there first? He can. Yes. 2-1 up at Ibrox. Bazdar beats uh, Baxter in goals. Heads it home. And we get the lead. And now we have one foot into the knockout stages of the Europa League. And that is a huge goal for us. Torsby, Viatic and Lafie passing around in a triangle. Lafie gets turned, plays the ball over the top. Baxter gets there. Uh, ba uh, Bazdar, I mean, beats Baxter in goals. Bit confusing, those names. He heads it home. 
and we go ahead. 64 minutes gone, we're 2 1 up. Go in for Rangers, 74 minutes gone, 16 minutes left for them to get an equaliser and probably go hunting for the winner. They need to get through straight to the round of 16. Here's Glenn Kamara who plays it out to Moore who has a lot of space here, that's a bit of a worry. And he gets it down to Hadji. He's a danger man, he's going to get a cross into the box. Hadji, can we keep him? Out, no, cross comes in, Del Prato heads it clear, falls to Glenn Kamara, takes the shot, hits the post and goes out. Oh, that's a lucky escape for us. That could have been 2-2, but with 15 minutes to go, it stays 2-1 to us. Free kick, Ross, a bit shy about to take it into the fee, but Lefi was a bit slow to react there. Now Rangers can come on a counter-attack. Hadji to White, they play it around. Glenn Kamara over the top towards Lopez, Opoku heads it clear, Torsby, Del Prato, and we have possession. Mariba can bring it forward, Del Prato back to Opoku. He plays a long ball towards Lefi. Lovely pass. Lefi, not a great touch, but he has time. Brandon Williams bringing it forward. Takes on his man. Gets by him. Lovely from Williams. Back to Viatek. Has a lot of space here. Goes back to Williams. It's, it's a nice way of running down the clock too. Lefi. Moreno. Straight at the keeper. He was outside anyway though. But that was a good chance created. Two minutes to go here. Are we going to hold on for this win? That puts us through to the playoff round of the Europa League. Opoku goes long with the free kick towards Williams. Another brilliant pass from Opoku. Great to see him back in the team and playing well. Here's Williams. Lots of space. Cross is poor. Gives Rangers possession. We are into four minutes of injury time. They go direct. Viatek cuts it out. Lafay is slow on the ball again. Viatek again intercepts. Good play. Bit shy about. Opoku into Mariba. Back to Opoku. Playing well here in possession. Can we now all oh, to a poor touch from Mariba? Gives the ball away. Rangers on a counter attack into the box, don't foul him, oh, cross from Moore, edge of the box, White, oh it's in, Harvey White equalises for Rangers, oh Moore could have done a lot better with that shot, but we could have done a lot better in possession, it was a poor touch from Mariba in midfield, gave the ball away, Rangers quickly counter-attacked, and then uh, found White here in the box, with the space, took the shot, Moore got a hand to it, but he fumbles it into the goals, and it's now 2-2, and we did need a draw to get through. Now can we hold on? We'll put the time wasting up a bit more to try and hold on in injury time. Just two minutes off the four minutes added on to go. Can we just hold on here at Ibrox? It looked like we we're going to take a famous away win, but we've given them a point. And uh, points not enough for them to go straight through to the round of 16. So they are in the playoffs and we could be drawn against them, I think. Uh, we are over the time now, waiting for the referee's whistle to go here. And confirm that we are true to the Europa League playoff. And here it is. Final whistle goes. We've got a point at Ibrox. A good performance from us. We went behind early. Got level. We got ourselves ahead. But sadly gave away the win. But that is enough to pull us through. We go through in 22nd position. Ahead of teams like. Uh, who got knocked out. Anyone big. No one big really got knocked out. But uh, yeah. Doesn't matter any. We are true. Rangers are also in the playoff. Atletico Madrid are in the playoff. Seville who we played are in the playoff. Hearts. Fiorentina so lots of big teams in the playoff round but the main thing is we are joining them well coming back a little early for some breaking news that has happened here on transfer deadline day the owner has accepted a transfer offer of 57 million for Enzo Lafay from Wolfsburg he has gone uh, he's gone to Wolfsburg and I had rejected a number of bids from him because I wanted to keep him till the end of the season but the owner has accepted a £57 million pound offer which could raise to £63 million. Enzo Lafay gone to Wolfsburg and that leaves us with no time to sign a replacement. I'm going to try my best but it looks like we're going to have to carry on for the rest of the season with this squad. Enzo Lafay gone, sold by the owner. So here we are after that big news with the team ahead of the game against Bordeaux and Mariba comes into the 11 ahead of uh, for uh, Enzo Lafay's position and we have made a loan signing of Joe Veloso, Veloso from Porto he comes on loan to the end of the season best option I could find in the short bit of time we had if we compare him with Enzo Lafay he's nowhere near as good in a lot of areas but at least you know he gives us backup option Mariba will start most games now he is a good option in that position but uh, Veloso just gives us that numbers on the bench and able to rotate the team so he's in on loan until the end of the season and has good potential apart from that it is our normal team with Apoku coming back into the back three alongside Bitter Shaibu and Viatek and yeah let's hope we can recover from the shock of losing the fee and win this local derby 
So on the way for this derby game at home to Toulouse and hopefully we can refocus on the football now. Transfer action off the pitch is done and dusted. Can't worry about it too much now. And we need to just get three points on the board and keep in this Champions League race. Five minutes gone, it's nil nil. With possession into Onahai, goes long towards Palacios. He's got a bit of space to run into Palacios. Gets into the box, he's all alone though. Takes the shot, forces a keeper to make a save and we get a corner kick. Good play from Palacios, was a bit isolated but at least he got a shot away. Oh, we do have the corner, Del Prato will take it, Le no Lafie to take the corners now, in it comes, Apoku can't get up to head that one, it falls to the edge of the box, that's the end of the highlight, 14 minutes gone, stays nil nil. Corner kick here comes in, or oh, Mariba gets up, it's Bit of Shaibu again, he hits it home, Bit of Shaibu with his third goal for us since he signed, all have come from corner kicks, and that's a huge one, puts us ahead here in this derby, looked like it was Mariba was going to win it, but Bit of Shaibu is a big big man, and he gets up ahead of even Mariba, and heads it home past the Toulouse keeper and we take the lead here in the derby 38 minutes gone we're 1-0 up half time whistle goes here and we go in 1-0 up that bit of shibu uh, header from the corner kick on a high took it and uh, yeah puts us 1-0 up not a brilliant first half unless we had a lot of possession didn't create great chances but we are ahead and now we just need to hold on second half is on the way here 1-0 up and can we go on win this derby and get a vital three points as we try and stay in the Champions League places we know there's teams close to us around us and we are close to the team just ahead of us in Lorient so we need the win to keep pace with all of them and here's another corner kick it will be Del Prato to take this one and a bit of, bit of shy boo is in there again he gets up again oh another one oh he's a real weapon from corners and uh, that is huge two goals in the derby for him will really uh, make the fans like him uh, huge header again comes in from Del Prato in towards the near post up he gets beats everyone in the air Powers it past the keeper, and with just a minute of the second half gone, we are 2 0 up. Go in for Toulouse, and they pass it back to the taker. They try and get a bit of possession here, get themselves back in the game, ball over the top. Bokele intercepts it, he's come on for Opoku, who are just working back into the team after his injury. Via Tech to Mariba, over the top towards Bazdar, he won't get on the end of that, no, cut out by Toulouse. So they will have possession and come on the attack again. Via Tech cuts it out though, bit of Shaibu into Mariba. Has a bit of space, runs as his man, Palacios back to Vitek. And oh, a bit short to Williams, but he does well. Vitek into Mariba, back to Williams. Good possession here for us. Mariba did to Palacios. He looked offside, he finishes well, but I don't think that's going to count. Good finish from Palacios. His finishing has really improved as the season has gone on. But I think he was in an offside position there when the pass was made. Bar will tell us, yeah, goal disallowed. He looked offside when the pass through from Mariba came. We'll have another look at it here at Mariba. Probably delayed it a little long. I couldn't really play it much quicker. Just a foot offside from Palacios. Good finish, as I said. But with 69 minutes gone here, it's 2 0. Right cross, own high to take it in towards Bukele at the far post. And he heads it down. Palacios taps it home. And is it going to be another disallowed goal for Palacios? He looked a little bit more onside there, I have to say. Bukele with the header down. Palacios tapping it in. I think that's a goal. And it is. Yes. We go 3 0 up. Wrap up the derby. Bukele heading it down. Palacios. Then nodded at home, and that is a poacher's goal. Great to see him getting that type of goal. And we are now 3 0 up in the derby, going to win this. And uh, yeah, might have been a bit of trouble during the week with terms of losing Enzo Lafay, but on the pitch, we have been really good. And uh, yeah, that's a huge three points on the board. Another win in the league, uh, bouncing back from losing our dropping points. I get away to Strasbourg. We win the derby here. It's a 3 0 win. Bit of shy boo with two goals from header, Palacios with a late one, and we win the derby and keep up in the Champions League race. So there we have it after that derby win. We are in fourth position on 36 points, one point behind Lorient in third on 37. We are a point ahead of Nantes in fifth, three points clear of Nice in sixth, and uh, now five points clear of Monaco in seventh. So we built that gap up to uh, the last European spot up. Uh, slightly with that win so that's good to see to lose down in the relegation spots to always good to see one of your rivals struggling like that so that is the league uh, standings at the moment in the next episode it's going to be a Europa League special for us we are taking on Atletico Bilbao in the playoff round of the Europa League we're going to do both legs in the next uh, episode the home leg first and then away to Bilbao and hopefully we can get through to the last 16. If you did enjoy today's episode, please drop a like on the video. Always good to see more likes and that people are enjoying them. Don't forget to leave any feedback you have in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel to grow and make sure you don't miss any videos. Videos are posted Monday to Friday, 6pm Irish time. And subscribing will make sure you get the notification. 
there is a playlist on the channel as well if you want to catch up anything that's happened so far at Bordeaux. So until the next episode, please take it easy.